What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Voice of the Giants podcast here on WKCV, the voice of Keystone College. Guys, this week in the studio with none other than men's basketball representative, Al Puham. Al, how we doing today, man? Doing good, man. How about yourself? I'm fantastic, man. Fantastic. Happy to be back. Happy to be getting you guys in. But honestly, I'm, I, I could be as happy as anything, but I know I'm not as happy as you because for the first time since 2017... Men's basketball has made the playoffs, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we we talk about that so much, and it's funny because of the fact that every time we talk about men's basketball going and everything like that, at, you guys are always on the outside looking in. This year, you finally cracked it. How does it feel to finally have cracked that playoff barrier? It feels great, man. You know, this team deserve it. Uh, we put in the hard work from boot camp to all the struggles, you know, we just fighting every day, you know, hard practices. Everybody's like on each other, and I've, I've been happy. I've been very happy we were able to make it. Absolutely, and this, if you ask anybody on the men's basketball team, huge week this week. Yes, sir. And when I say huge, I mean huge. You picked up the win against Bernathan on Monday, obviously home game, game for that one. But then today, this is probably the biggest mean not, or mean something game because this will determine if you guys host more than likely. Because you face St. Elizabeth tonight, mm-hmm. then you go ahead, senior day on Saturday, a, and you face Wilson. What is it going to be like, kind of the mindset, just going into this last week, prepping for next week? Uh, tonight, we want to we wanna treat this game just like, like it's a playoff game, you know? Like, we need to win this one. We want to get the home advantage, have our Giants here in the, in the stance, and be able to take on the team do what we got to do and I know that's going to happen absolutely absolutely and the way I look at this get you look at the final standings obviously it's you guys St. Elizabeth and Clark Summit more than likely say you guys were to win tonight I believe you guys would actually be hosting next week mm-hmm. give or take however it would do a lot for going into hosting next week however this could be a case of St. Elizabeth might be the team that you see next week what has it kind of been like the mindset or what is the mindset when you guys go ahead and you face off against the team? You go from a regular season game mm-hmm. to the next week, you guys are going to be facing them as a postseason opponent. Yeah, um, as we face, as we played them tonight, like it's, it's going to be a game still. But as we see them again, it's like, like yo, we're here. So we need to treat every game like a step-by-step game. Um, everybody's locked in. I feel like coach prepared us. You know, we're all ready to go in there and handle business, do what we got to do. Absolutely. And one guy I definitely, I, you bring up coach. He would have been one guy that I would have been remiss if I didn't bring up. Mm-hmm. Coach Coop. Been here since the beginning. Been here ever since you came in. Since a lot of these guys came in and everything like that. Obviously a long road for him and everything like that. What has it been like just all of you guys? Coach Coop, just the bonding experience you guys have. Uh, this this particular team, it's, it's been great. You know, everybody cares about each other. Everybody looks out for each other. You know, um, we don't leave anybody behind. We stay as a unit, and that's what I like a lot. A lot of laughter is, you know, good quality time together. And, like, from stepping off the court to on the court, like, we're ready to take on whatever we got to face. Absolutely, and I see that every day. And the one thing that you guys definitely obviously are going to be facing on Saturday Wilson, the one seed. Mm-hmm. More importantly for you guys, though, that's senior day. Yes, sir. Hey, and you're losing guys who I obviously I see you guys all the time. Mm-hmm. See how you guys connect. You guys lose Gary, Tyrell, Darnell, and uh, Tone as well as Tyler. What has it been like just teaming up with those guys for the past couple of years and everything like that? It's been great. You know, I've been with some of them uh, from the start. Uh, Tone recently came in two years ago, and it's just like been nothing but a pleasure to be able to, you know, play on the court with him, be his teammate, his brother, and um, it's it's just sad that we got these guys leaving because you know they meant so much to this program. But we're gonna do what we got to do to send them off in the right way. You know, we want that championship ring. Absolutely, absolutely. And the one thing I definitely gotta ask you, I gotta ask you about. All these guys coming in and everything like that. Uh, obviously, we bring it up. Tone came in a couple of years ago. Gary, Tyrell, Darnell, and Tyler. All all them, four years. But the one thing I always realize with you guys, it doesn't matter if the guy came in last semester, if the guy came in 
you know, four years ago, five years ago. Mm. Y'all still have that bond no matter what. Yeah, we we just click, you know. Uh, this is the reason why I, lo- like, I love it here because, you know, guys are amazing. Guys are open. Like, nobody's selfish. Nobody's pushing away anybody. Guys bringing each other and make, make it a home. So this is one thing that I like here about KC. Absolutely. And I would have been... I would have been a fool if I didn't ask you. Uh, obviously, the elephant in the room, you guys didn't have a season last year, mm-hmm. as a lot of teams didn't. Right. And haven't had a season since 2019, 2020, because of COVID and everything like that. But mm-hmm. this year, you guys get that season. Yes, sir. You get the rebound and everything like that. Had No pun intended on that one. Mm-hmm. But how does it feel to go from not having a season last year or to getting that season this semester and everything like that and being able to play – the basketball games that you guys know you could have done damage in last year. Mm-hmm. From um, not having a season was just horrible. You know, a lot of things shut down. We weren't able to get in the gym as much. You know, it hurt us a lot. But to be able to bounce back the way we did and make a playoff push, it's amazing to me. You know, like it's a blessing, honestly. I could just thank God and me and the team are right here. You know, we're here to make something happen. Absolutely, and honestly, I've been watching the games, obviously, over the past couple of weeks and everything like that. I want to talk about your role and everything like that. You guys, you and and I believe it is uh, Matt Campbell, mm. freshman, both of you guys, coming off the bench as a sixth, seventh man, just being that spark plug, what has that meant to you over the past couple of years? Um, to bring as much energy as I can to the table, um, show leadership, you know, and that's uh, Matt is like, he's amazing. I call him my little brother. A lot of people say we look alike, but, you know, he's he's been amazing. Plays with confidence as soon as he get in there, and he, he just amazes me. He works hard, and I give him all the credit because he's going to be something, something big. And you can say that for a lot of the, the freshman class coming in because you got Jack coming in, you got Pete coming in, and both of them being a huge, huge asset on the team and everything yes, like that. Yep. Hey, just the entire roster or from – for the first time, what I've seen in a while, top to down, freshmen, sophomores, mm. first juniors, seniors, graduate students, everybody's just clicking, clicking this year and contributing in some way or another. Yeah, this uh, this freshman class is is probably one of the best freshman class I ever seen. With Jack, Pete, Radio, uh, we got a graduate student, TB. Is they're like just great people here. You know, they come in, they put the work in every day. It's a grind here. Like, they make the best of it. And it's hard for them to adapt to the weather because they're from Florida. But they just, the way they do things just amaze me. And the one thing I would have, again, another thing I would have been remiss if I didn't bring up to you, who is that off-court or balance. Even when you guys don't have practices, right. you guys are either, you know, you're the team bonding or you're running five on five in the quarter. You're running, in, you know, threes in the quarter or whatever. Yes. Or what is just that... On the court, off court, or team bonding just like for you guys? I feel like everybody's just motivated. You know, nobody's like down. Nobody's like, no, I'm not going to do this. It's one call away. Yo, do you want to work out? Like, do you want to get in the gym? And it's, let's get to it. Let's get it done. If it's off the court, hey, you want to come over? Let's watch this game. Do you want to go bowling? Everybody's always willing to do something. You know, nobody's never pushing away. And that's what I love about this team. Yeah, and it's a case of you guys are always, like you said, always clicking. And that's something that, for a basketball team, that means more than anything. Because it's so, for a lot of times, times D1, you got like 15, 13-man rosters, sometimes like that, actual NBA rosters. Yes, sir. D3, you get like 20, 30 guys he's on roster. So mm-hmm. definitely keeping that small roster is, is or that bigger extended basketball roster, I should say. Mm-hmm. Definitely a big thing. Yes, sir. And now, I want to talk about, I want to go back to Tone. Dude's worked his entire her life. Man's got over a thousand career points and everything like that. Right. What was pretty much the team reaction to Tone getting a thousand points? Uh, it was huge. You know he deserves it. Tone puts in the work. He he's just a hardworking man all around. You know whatever it is, he's a big brother. We can always go to him for advice or anything, and he'll give it to us. So for him to get that thousand was like huge to everybody. You know. Like I said, it was speechless to me because it's well deserved. It's not too much you can say about it because that's a man right there that's hard working. Absolutely, absolutely. And another thing I got to ask you guys in terms 
pretty much, I guess you could say, wrap this up a little bit. Mm-hmm. It coming up on Saturday, right? Obviously, last game of the season, regular season, and everything like that. You get Wilson, you get the one seed. Mm-hmm. What's the mindset kind of been like, just knowing that your last game of the season is going to be the one seed and potentially the team you're probably going to be facing on Wednesday, hey, pending everything going out. So, what's that mindset kind of been like? Um, that Saturday game, we're going into that game. Like, knowing, like, hey, this is the last game, and like, we got to fight. We got to get them out of here. Like, let's go in there strong, and let's get the job done. This I, is a senior night, and we want to send them off in the right way. That was going to be the follow-up question. You beat me to it. <laughs> it's senior night for those guys. I, I assume getting a win against an 11-1 and Wilson team, a team that we've, let's go. Keystone's kind of developed a little bit of a rivalry against, if you will. Yeah. Oh. What what's it gonna be like just uh, seeing those guys get their proper send off and everything? Um, I could say it's gonna be very emotional, you know, cause like these guys are important, you know. It'll be very emotional that night, but you know we got to put everything to the side and handle what has to be handled, and we have to treat this game like any other. Definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah, and honestly, wishing you nothing but the best of the luck. Yes, sir. Start for these next couple of games. Games. So, you guys definitely got the schedule worked out for you. Like I said, St. Elizabeth tonight, mm-hmm. Wilson on Saturday. Hey, 3 o'clock tip-off uh, for Wilson. You guys are on the road tonight. Hey, Al, thank you so much for tu- for coming in, man. Thank Seriously. You much, JT. Thank yeah, you. man. And definitely. Yeah, and it's one of those things. Best of luck the rest of the season, obviously. Got three more games ahead of you guys. All right, guys, once again. And Al Pio for the men's basketball team. Yes, and guys, this has been another episode of the Voice of the Giants podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we will see you guys next week. Thank you.